guys, I figured it was time for another Honey Bunny how-to. So I'm going to show you how I use my Honey Bun to do the high top knot that's real popular these days. So, last night I slept with my hair wet and I just wore it up in this clip. So as you can see, it's really kind of crazy um, and wavy right now. So, I can't wear it straight, so I'm going to wear my Honey Bun today. And no, I don't sleep in my honey bun like most of you probably think. And even though it definitely is ideal to use your honey bun after you have not washed your hair for a day or two, since I washed my hair last night, my hair's going to be a little bit more slick, but that just means I have to use more hairspray. So I'm going to put my hair in a very high ponytail, as you can see. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray a thin layer of hairspray on the sides and underneath. And then I'm going to spray some hairspray on my ponytail just to kind of give it some texture. And if you have any texturing spray, you could do that too, or dry shampoo. Brush it out. And if your hair is the same length as mine, as you can see how long my ponytail is, and I have a, um, a couple of layers, I can actually use the small and the medium honey bun, but today I'm going to use the medium honey bun, just because I want a fuller bun. So I'm going to take my honey bun, and I'm using the blonde bombshell one, and I'm going to feed my ponytail through the center of the honey bun. Then I'm going to pull the honey bun to the tips of my ponytail like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap, and this is the most important thing. So you actually fold the honey bun down towards your head while you're simultaneously wrapping your hair around it. And it does take a little bit of practice at the beginning, but that's the most important part. And learning how to master the honey bun is to fold it down. So a lot of, of my girlfriends are really uh, quite taken back when they're like, oh crap, I did it wrong. This doesn't even look right. It doesn't look how it does online or in the pictures, but no fear. This is okay. This is exactly how it's supposed to be at this point in the stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm twisting it so the piece with the concentrated hair is actually at the top of um, my head. So I'm going to take this very large mass of hair, and it's okay, as you can see all these little pieces are kind of going crazy back here, but don't worry about it. We'll fix it at the end. But I'm just going to start to distribute that hair to the other side of the uncovered honey bun. Okay. And it's important to be slow and steady at this point of the process because you don't want to twist your honey bun too much because then it loosens it. So you can definitely feel with your hands the parts that are covered and that are not covered. So you can make sure that you get it all perfect. There we go. I don't have any parts uncovered. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to take some more hairspray and all of these flyaways I'm going to spray and then as you can see I'm slowly patting down the flyaways and positioning them exactly where I want them to lay. And I'm a huge fan of headbands, so I actually like to wear headbands a lot with my honey bun. And this weekend I picked up this really cute one in Hoboken, New Jersey, and um, 
since it's the holidays, it's very festive and appropriate. Spray a little bit more. I just love this headband. Okay. And to finish my look off, Anybody that knows me knows I never need an excuse to put on some red lipstick, but if you're looking for your excuse, there's no better time to wear red than the holidays. So this is the high top knot using the Blonde Bombshell Honey Bun and the size medium. Happy holidays, honeys!